Okay, so this is the early male flask, the rubber band and the uh, aluminum foil that we already measured the mass. I'm gonna take now uh, five milliliter of a volatile liquid. I'm choosing here the cyclohexane. So, <clears throat> This is five milliliter. I'll put it in the early male flask and I will cover it with the aluminium foil, the one I measured the mass and the rubber band. So you need to create a small hole in the aluminum foil so I'm gonna use uh, this one just a small hole it doesn't have to be big that's enough okay now here on the side I have the heater which is uh, already here I'm gonna start heating the water once the water start boiling I will immerse the uh, volatile liquid in it. So I'm gonna prepare this volatile liquid over here. Okay, so once the liquid is boiling, I'm just gonna push it a little bit and I will put this inside, okay? So right now, I'll just wait a little bit until the water boils. Meanwhile, I can check the temperature of the boiling water using the uh, temperature sensor. Note that I will only insert the volatile liquid in water when water is boiling. And I will keep it inside the water until no more liquid uh, in the flask, until like everything in the earlier made flask all the liquid changes to gas so right now the temperature is so definitely it did not reach 100 degrees celsius the temperature is still uh, below 100 degrees right now it's about 78 degrees celsius so i'm gonna wait a little bit more The temperatures, uh, the water started to boil, so it's reaching 100 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna now insert the vol the Erlen Mayer flask containing the volatile liquid in the boiling water. So as you can see here, the flask is uh, completely immersed in the beaker containing boiling water. I'm gonna wait for a little bit of time until all the volatile liquid evaporate to gas. When I, when I don't have any more liquid, I will remove it and then measure its mass, the mass of the gas again. Okay, now I'm gonna try to remove the flask from the boiling water to see if all the liquid evaporated. Now just know that let me see here. Yeah. So I can see that all of the liquid evaporated. There is nothing remaining in the Erlenmeyer flask. So I'm going to stop heating the water and I will measure the temperature of the water and I will let this flask cool so I can measure the mass again. Now while waiting here, so I'm checking the temperature of the water, you need to record this temperature as well. So as you can see now, I have some liquid in the Erlenmeyer flask. This is the gas that uh, is again condensing back to liquid. Okay, so if I bend it here, it shows it clearly. So before it condenses all, I'm gonna go and measure the mass of the flask.
And now the final step is measuring the mass of the gas in the Erlenmeyer flask. After the measurement, now you can begin with your calculations.